Three months ago, I progressed to SE5 and did a DPS test on both Elemental Charge 2 and Elemental Weave 1 which turns out that the speed build is better. A month later, I gathered enough materials to upgrade Elemental Weave 1 from level 4 to level 5 and uses spiderweb to increase my DPS further. Today, I've reached a new height. It has been a rather long journey for me because I have two mage class to progress, but after discovering the potential of Sorcerer, I decided to pour in more resources into this class and I'm glad I did. At this point, we all know that Sorcerer can be dealing more DPS than Warlock even with a lower SE level. Now, my Sorcerer is at SE6. Let's see how much stronger will I be after depleting my resources again to upgrade every essential skills and stats. So, how about a challenge? On the left, we'll be using Elemental Charge 2 and on the right, we'll be using Elemental Weave 1. Both sides will be using Spiderweb to maximize firepower. They are now ready, so let the challenge begin in 3, 2, 1. And the challenge is underway. On the left side, which is the Charge 2 build, we'll get the damage first because the Weave build will need to lay down Elemental Fuel before dealing damage. But coming into the 10 seconds mark, we can see that the Weave build has actually surpassed in DPS and is actually gaining up to 36 and 37 million in DPS, which is a very, very huge margin over here. The Charge 2 build is still gaining between 29 to 30 million. The Weave build is constantly dealing 32, 33 million, and coming 30 seconds now is 34 versus 30 million. Will Weave build be able to hold up the DPS because the Charge 2 build has the advantage of Fire Element and Fire Element Resist Reduction. So Crack will actually take more fire damage. We're coming to about 50 seconds now, you can see very clear that the Weave build is actually outdoing the Charge 2 build. Now for the last 1 second, it's 36 versus 32 million. In case you're wondering the speed of Weave build without Spiderweb, here it is. That casting of both at target with pure speed is just amazing to watch. But this is not the complete version of my SE6, so there is still room for higher DPS because I am still lacking in 1-2 to two skills to max up. More tests to come once I get it. Now, I'm really looking forward to SE7. Will I be able to get it as a free to play?